Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and the topic of discussion which I have chosen for the day is if an inventor is confused that under which type of intellectual property right can they protect their particular creative or inventive work then he or she must watch this video because what happens is inventors have a creative work but then they are confused because they are not aware of under which category they can protect their particular intellectual property rights if it's an artistic work or literary work or some kind of technical scientific work or some kind of a product designing work or, or, or another type of an, uh, an intellectual property right work then which category of IPR because there are several categories several types of intellectual property rights like patents trademarks copyrights designs so under which category they can protect their particular asset particular intellectual property to get a right over over it because if this decision is not made correctly then your uh, main agenda your long-term goal may not be fulfilled just because of wrong uh, selection of particular intellectual property rights to protect your particular creative work so uh, see there are majorly there are four different types of intellectual property rights like patents trademarks copyrights and designs uh, however there are other types also like geographical indications trade secrets and several other ways of protecting semiconductors plant varieties animals also are there but then the major types are patents trademarks copyrights and designs what i'll do in this video is i'll define each of them particularly providing you the instances of the types of intellectual properties types of creative works that you can protect under each of these categories and i'll give you several examples of each of them as well so that you can better correlate with whatever is your particular creative work if it is similar or kind of same with whatever is being suggested here then you can make better decisions so starting with patents see patents are used to protect they are applied to protect technical solutions to a problem or maybe if you have done some some improvement or a technical problem and you have come up with some technical solution some scientific solution a product or a process or a system or a composition of matter or an article of manufacture likewise if you have done some kind of technical innovative work having involvement of technology then that particular type of work can be protected through patents the best type of intellectual property right which is used to protect any kind of innovative technical scientific R&D types work is patents. I'll give you some of the examples so that you can better correlate with what I'm trying to say is like some kind of inventions like uh, um, a sanitization robot if you have created like in COVID situations we have come up with so many inventions which relate to the prevention of coronavirus or um, the uh, treatment of coronavirus in pharma industry basically so if someone has created a kind of a new and a new and improved type of sanitization robot then it's a kind of innovative and technical work which can be protected uh, through intellectual property right which is patents similarly some other works like if you have created a new medicine uh, maybe if you have created a sewing machine uh, different type having some different functionalities some great useful uh, works which it can do which are helping the industrial uh, economy to boost up so those kinds of work like iPhone the technology behind iPhone technology behind smartphones if there is a new smartphone in the market um, uh, some other examples are like AI based hospital if you have come up with some system of designing artificial intelligence based or blockchain based hospital management systems similarly uh, something related to electrical lightning if there is something like that and any kind of work which is related to technology which is related to technical aspects that can be protected using patents 
Next, I come to the second type of intellectual property right, which is copyrights. See, copyrights are basically required by authors, artists, producers, broadcasters, directors, and people or maybe lyricists. So people who are into artistic, literary, or uh, some kind of film industry work, musical work, dramatic work, recording work. So all these types of works and people who are involved into these kinds of works use intellectual property right, which is called copyright for protecting their creative works. Uh, I will give you some of the examples so that you can better correlate like in uh, as far as literary works are concerned if you have some new and novel database a novel which you have written a book scientific book maybe if you have written um, some newspaper articles if you have written any kind of documentation work which you have done in terms of artistic work like painting if you have created sculptures uh, architectures and another there is a big list of works which can be creative work which can be protected under copyrights like poems and plays reference works newspapers advertisements computer programs databases films musical compositions choreographic books paintings drawings photographs sculptures architectures maps technical drawings and so all types of works which relate to i must mention again artistic works literary works broadcasting film industry related works musical works recording type works so all these works are protected under the category of copyrights so next i come to the third category of intellectual property rights which is trademarks see trademarks actually are used to protect any type of distinctive sign which is basically helping in kind of identifying all the products and services that create a kind of brand value of a particular individual or a company so whatever relates to creating a long-term brand value of you or your company that can be protected under the category of trademarks these are basically used to protect uh, you know like company logo company name company tagline company tag sounds a good specific kind of branding shape if you can say so all such types of distinctive signs can be protected as trademarks if i give you a good example about tag sound like it's like ting 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 you know the tagline and you can identify the company name after listening to this tagline so it's all about britannia and everything it creates a brand value for britannia the sound is basically used by britannia and no one else can use the sound because it is actually protected as a trademark by britannia similarly the taste of india so the taste of india as a tagline is actually a mool's tagline and everyone knows that similarly the tune which is basically behind the way it is um, pronounced uh, the way we speak this tagline so that is a kind of tag sound which is again protected by a mool so these types of things a mool as a word the girl which is used to uh, create a brand value for a mool and it is you know pasted on each and every product Amul butter and all you can see that girl, small girl with a pony uh, on her head. So all these types of distinctive signs and shapes which create a brand value for any company or maybe an individual as well are protected under the category of trademarks. Giving you some uh, broadly some uh, describing some of the types. It's like drawings, like symbols and 3D signs such as shapes and packaging of goods. Uh, giving you a good example like coca-cola and fanta bottles they have a specific distinctive shape which creates its brand value limca coca-cola or uh, fanta bottles they have different shapes and no one can copy each other's shape similarly some uh, symbols like uh, apple uh, a, a, a eaten apple shape of apple company and uh, microsoft company sign four boxes with different 
colors like uh -huh. so these types of things all these types of names even microsoft name apple name nokia name and nike check sign so all these things are actually protected as trademarks because they are used by these companies to create their long time brand value significance in the minds of their customers and in some countries it's even seen that uh, features distinguishing features like holograms motion color non visible signs like smell and sound and taste uh, they can even be registered so because all these distinctive signs can somehow reflect somehow create a brand value for a company any kind of 2d or 3d shape can even be protected as trademarks some chocolates like kit kat and um, i have seen other types of chocolates also they have distinctive shapes and they protect their shape so that no any other uh, chocolate maker cannot copy check chocolate manufacturing company cannot copy their shape and their chocolates are actually identified through their shape similarly other shapes of all the fanta mirinda bottles and similarly are another types of um, trademarks and sounds and taglines so everything which creates brand value is protected under the category of trademarks coming to the fourth type of intellectual property right which is used to create designing aspects how something looks like to our eyes and that type of intellectual property rights is industrial designs see industrial designs are used to protect new and novel designing and ornamental and aesthetic aspects of any product they do not relate to any functional aspect of that product but just how it appears to the audience eyes to our eyes how 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 it appears to us when we look at it and this may also enhance the commercial aspects of that product so hence we need to protect that if it creates a kind of commercial viability commercial great commercial uh, help uh in you know marketing that product so it should be protected as an intellectual property right which is industrial designs giving you some examples if someone has created a different type of printer which is very distinguishing in its appearance and not the technical aspect that how it operates but then how it looks like because some people some people not look at how the product is functioning but they are attracted by the looks of that product so hence it should always be protected somehow it creates a kind of uh, help to the inventors in uh, marketing their product similarly if some um, it this this type of intellectual property right is basically very helpful for fashion designers if a fashion designer has created a new type of dress maybe sabha sachi has come up with a new dress piece and they don't want other fashion designers to copy their dress obviously they will protect it through uh, industrial design protection giving you an another example uh, like laptop uh, the look of that laptop look of the iphone its side view its front view its back view its camera screen how it looks like and a camera and uh, similarly an almira design maybe a chair design uh, a table design the appearance the aesthetic aspects the looks of that particular product all this is protected by the category of industrial designs so this is all about industrial designs i hope i have clarified i, I have informed you in very detail that what are the different types of creative and inventive works which can be protected as patents all the technical works are protected as patents all uh, the works which are protected under the category of copyrights are the artistic literary dramatic recording broadcasting works all the types of creative works which are protected under the category of trademarks or all the works all the distinctive signs which create a kind of brand value for your company or you as an individual and lastly all the types of creative works which are created uh, protected under the category of industrial designs are the 
uh, one which are valuable to the eyes of a person which which attract the eyes of a person and uh, which are actually related to aesthetic and ornamental aspects how it looks like those are protected under the category of industrial designs coming to a last important thing i want to discuss is one particular type of product or a technology or a creative work can be many times be protected by multiple types of intellectual property rights it's not like one product is protected under only one type of intellectual property right it's never the case sometimes it happens as a one product is protected by multiple intellectual property rights types in order to protect in order to protect the multiple features of that product uh, like to give you an example in case of apple iphone or any other smartphone whatever is the technology behind that smartphone the way it operates the way uh, the behind processing the back screen processing of that uh, smartphone that is protected through patents the patents is a patent is the very important type of intellectual property rights which basically protects the technology which can protect the technology behind that smartphone that how it operates the uh, system the process behind the working of that smartphone at the same time the software code which is written to implement that utility through that technology means the exact coding one to one coding the just the coding part which is written to implement to 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 make it real to to make it practical the technology is made practical through that coding so that coding part is protected through copyrights because it's a kind of a literary or software uh, work software coding type works which is protected through uh, copyrights only in india i am talking about india right now and then the hardware uh, part of that smartphone so what i have informed till now is technology and the software coding part talking about the hardware part uh, the hardware looks of that phone the side view the front view the back view how it looks like that all aesthetic aspects which kind of create the market value of the product how it looks like that or how sleek it is and how big it is how uh, such a big screen it has so all these aspects which attract customers all these are protected by industrial designs that what is the aesthetic value ornamental value is created by such kinds of uh, shape and structural and lines and patterns and color re related aspects of the product are protected by industrial designs so in uh, moreover the name of that smartphone any kind of logo that may be used uh, behind in, at the back screen of that smartphone maybe apple always draws an eaten apple which is the apple lo logo similarly whatever is the phone of the um, name of that iphone it is always protected as trademarks because it creates a brand value people identify that product using that distinctive sign of logo or the name of that product so in one product only which is a smartphone all these four types of intellectual property rights means coding protected uh, through copyright software part through copyright hardware part through industrial designs name and logo through trademarks technology or working through patents so all four intellectual property rights provide a coverage of whole protection whole protection coverage is provided only when all these four are used to protect different features of that product otherwise if you don't use trademark to protect the logo or the name then that name can be used by other smartphone owners in order to confuse people and miss through that confusion they can enhance their market value and you know they can misuse your brand value similarly if you do not protect the technology the your technology can be used by other competitors they can misuse it without your consent similarly if, they, if you do not protect the coding part that coding can, part can be used by some other company competitors third parties without your approval similarly the shape can also be used the artistic 
features that the, you know are ornamental aspects of the product can be used by others so there there should be overall protection which should be pro provided to the products and that can be done only if you discuss with your legal attorney it's always preferable because they understand they try to be a little skeptical while investigating your product your invention and then they can provide you a good and novel advice on what are the different types of intellectual property rights can be used, which can be used to protect whatever all the features which you want to protect and protect in that type of invention of yours. So it is always advisable to discuss with uh, an attorney before trying to protect your intellectual property rights. I hope I have uh, discussed uh, all the four types of intellectual property rights and give a, a big picture, given you a good idea about what type of creative work can be protected under which type of intellectual property rights. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can always write in the comment box and I'll come up with all those answers to you, all your problems, all your doubts. And if you are an inventor or a person who is always interested in listening to such kind of videos related to intellectual property rights then you can always subscribe to my channel because i keep on creating such kind of content thank you so much